And then uh, uh, we can deflect that to Edward for our command in the So Vahana is an eVTOL uh, demonstrator project. So the idea is a technology demonstrator to, to push technologies for future uh, air taxis for urban transport. And so this is a, a demonstrator. So it flies uh, unmanned, but it's designed to carry a single passenger. It's a tandem tilt wing. So the two wings tilt up to vertical, uh, takes off vertically, and then transitions to cruise flight uh, in the configuration that you see here. So we started working on it in February of 2016. Uh, the airframe was completed in, towards the end of 2017, and first flight was in January of 2018. The vehicle behind me is our 27th vehicle that we built at Opener. It's a Black Fly version 3. It can be flown autonomously or manned, and we are going to democratize personal air vehicle travel with this electric airplane, eight motors, vertical takeoff and landing, you could land it in your driveway, and our hope is one day to have a vehicle like this or this vehicle in everyone's driveway so that you can commute to work in it. This aircraft's unique, you will see it has a fixed wing, and the propulsion systems are mounted to that fixed wing, so we articulate the vehicle, whole vehicle at takeoff and at landing as opposed to rotating the motors on the wing. My name is Pete Batar, I'm with Electric Jet Aircraft, and uh, this is the EJ-1 electric jet pack, the world's first electric jet pack as far as we know, and uh, it uses 16 uh, electric jet turbines to produce about 320 pounds of thrust. It's capable of carrying a 200 pound person for roughly four minutes on a charge of batteries, which we hope will only improve as battery technology improves. So this is the first time we've exhibited this uh, aircraft at Oshkosh. In fact, we've only been flight testing it for a few weeks. It does take off, it does lift us up. At this point, what we're offering is a four-pack module that we can sell to experimenters or home builders that want to power anything. They can power their own jet pack, they can power hang gliders, paragliders, kayaks, skateboards, go-karts, whatever they want to do. Um, but each one of these produces about 82 pounds of thrust and uh, includes batteries and everything. So my name is Chip Irwin, with, I'm with Aero Marine LSA, and uh, we uh, design and develop uh, a line of aircraft. This one is uh, gasoline or electric powered. Its uh, endurance is an hour, it's a part 103 ultralight, so it actually is legal to fly now. The batteries take about two and a half hours to recharge. It's about 10 minutes to put the airplane together or, or take the wings on and off for storage. And uh, no license, no medical, no registration. It's pure part 103. Even with electric power, it's under the weight limits. Uh, the optional uh, uh, rocket-powered parachute for safety. And uh, we've taken it one step further and installed the fly-by-wire system. So with one toggle switch, we can take control from the pilot and, and, and fly it uh, remotely and um, or give demo rides. So we now have a, a safe way to do dual training in a single-seat aircraft. So I'm Riley Carl, president and co-founder of Dark Arrow. And I'm standing in front of our exhibit here, which is uh, the Dark Air One, which we are calling the fastest, longest range airplane you can build in your garage. So the big thing that makes it unique is we're uh, selling it on performance. So it's very high speed, long range, and efficient. Uh, it's an all carbon fiber airframe. And we use a unique structural solution that we came up with that we call hollow grid, which is a special arrangement of uh, carbon fiber ribs and shear webs. So it ends up creating a structure that's both lighter and stronger than what you see conventionally in composite kit aircraft. I'm Steve Tibbetts, and this is the Ziva Zero. And it's a, a, a vertical takeoff and landing machine. It's all electric. It uh, goes really fast once it gets into transition because it's a wing, blended wing body. Uh, it's very aerodynamic. It goes about 160 miles an hour with a 50 mile range. Uh, this model can carry one person. This is a, this is a full size prototype number one. Yeah, experimental. Uh, we plan on making two full scale prototypes initially, and uh, we do have a flying scale model right now. Um, hi, I'm Dan Preston from Illuminati Aerospace, and these are my partners. I'm Peter Stone from Hemis Tool Machine. This is my son Alex, and we're building an electric helicopter. Uh, well, it's a coaxial counter-rotating, so it has no tail rotor. So all of the power that you would normally waste on a, on a tail rotor is going into thrust. So it, this is one of the aspects that give it a, a higher endurance over a classic uh, helicopter configuration. 
Uh, also, you'll, you'll notice since it's a torque neutral uh, helicopter, it has counter rotating blades. The way that you yaw is by using tip brakes. So we throw drag into the wind with little aerodynamic flaps on the ends of the rotors. It's been named the Record Breaker 1 because it should break the record, current world endurance record by about 50%.